In this example, we will deploy a Helm chart using the Helm provider for Terraform. Helm is a package manager for Kubernetes. For more complex Kubernetes application definitions, charts can define, install, and manage the upgrade. In this example, we want to deploy console to our cluster to serve as a service mesh and a key value store for application configuration. The console Helm chart is available on GitHub. However, it is not hosted in a chart repository. Thus, in order for us to use this chart, we must first download this chart, use Helm version 2 and install Tiller, install the chart to the cluster, and test if the deployment has successfully created. This series of steps can be consolidated using the Helm Terraform provider. If we are using Helm version 2 to deploy our console chart, we need to deploy an additional component called Tiller. In the Helm provider, we can add an option called install tiller to install tiller before the chart runs as part of Terraform. This is available as part of the Terraform provider configuration. As for the Helm resource itself, we declare a Helm release resource. This references the local chart console Helm that we've downloaded from the official console repository. We can also override Helm variables, including replicas and bootstrap expect. Finally, we can use Terraform provisioners to execute a local command. In this case, we are using Helm test release name. This allows us to run a series of acceptance tests after the Helm release has completed. The acceptance tests embedded as part of the console chart will tell us if console is ready for use. When we run a Terraform apply, we need to add a release name. In this case, we'll call it dev. Here, it will create a console cluster using the chart. It may take some time for the Helm release to deploy and complete. After the Helm release has been created, Terraform will proceed with the provisioner. The provisioner will execute Helm test dev locally. This will determine if the dev Helm release is ready for use.